Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, manually enable cool and quiet tag knowledge while overclock your Helium 2 processor at the same time. Notice this method only works if you have a Helium 2 processor. If you have a Helium 1 or the older AMD processor or Intel processor, this method will not work. Also, um, for some motherboard, it actually allows you to um, enable cool and quiet tag knowledge while overclocking your CPU at the same time. But for some motherboard, uh, this will not work. It, you either have to disable cool and quiet first in order to overclock your CPU, or um, like my motherboard, it simply automatically disable cool and quiet tag knowledge once I overclock my CPU. In this case, you will need this software, the K10 stack, and by using this software, it it's very easy uh, to allow you to change all the, the the core speed while overclocking your CPU. So now let's get started. Now, first, I want to show you guys uh, the CPU Z just to show some basic information about my CPU. So now, as you can see, I have a Phenom two. X3 720 processor right here. Right now, um, I have uh, the, the core speed setting at 3.6 gigahertz. That's the max I have, and I have not enabled core and quiet technology right now. That's why you see the core speed stay at that all the time. Now, as you can see, the core voltage is 1.456 volt, uh, which is pretty little bit high I think but that's that's safe range I think as long as you keep your voltage below 1.5 you should be fine anyway now let's just open the K10 stack as you can see I already opened it uh, it's uh, this icon in my test bar so I simply click it and this menu pop up and uh, you can see um, there's all the information about my uh, CPU and you can see the temperature at 26 25, 26 right now, which is not bad. So now I want to show you guys the P, uh, the P stat, the P level. There's a P level right here. You can set different, uh, the core speed if you want. Like I set the all the core speed the same, but you can set it differently. You can set the frequency right now, and you can also set the um, the CPU voltage if you want. And notice the actual CPU voltage which is this level right here, this number right here is actually a little bit higher than the CPU voltage shows in the K10 stat, so yeah, that's just a little bit different. Anyway, now, uh, since I disabled Coin Quite Technology, I want to show you guys how to enable it. What you're going to do is pretty easy, basically unclick it, you click auto, 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 now you also uh, go to the icon right here and then you enable clock control right here and then you click apply then what happened is you're going to see a drop right here the cross core speed drop to 2.7 mega uh, gigahertz right here now this is the lowest setting I set right here this is why the core speed will only goes down to 2.7 gig gigahertz if I set to like 800 megahertz it'll go all the way down to 800 megahertz as long as your CPU load is not too much, so that's basically how it works. As as you can see, also the, the core voltage also decreases. It also decreases that what as well. So um, now the reason you want to do that is because sometimes when you're not playing game and you're not doing video editing, Photoshop, you simply you know doing web browsing or Word stuff like that, you don't really want your core speed to go up to that high all the time I mean because at 2.7 I think that's enough for me you know so uh, you don't have to go on that high also if you enable I mean increase the core speed it also you also have to increase the core voltage which will consume more power so first of all you're going to have uh, like higher temperature and also you're gonna pay more electricity bill Eventually, as you can see uh, right now, my CPU temperature is around 22. It's actually going to drop a little bit more to like 20, something like that. 
remember when I was like had my uh, core speed at 3.6, it sits around 27, 26 degrees Celsius. Right now 22, which is you know like four degree cooler than the highest core speed. So now um, I want to show you guys how you can manually disable it again. Uh, to do that, you simply click on that. You click on whatever the core you speed you want to go, and then right here you unclick enable clock control and you click apply. And then what you're gonna see you're gonna see the core speed basically increase to uh, three point six. Also the core voltage change. Now uh, you might wonder why do you want to do that? Uh, why do you want to? Sometimes why do you want to disable core quite knowledge? Since now you can overclock your CPU, why do you bother to disable the core quite? The reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes I'm doing benchmark like Super PI. I wanted the the core speed start at uh, this level. You know that's that's how I am going to get the, the best results, right? So if I have like the core speed at 2.7, uh, it's going to increase to 3.6 eventually because the increase of the core load. But um, I don't want to do that. I want to start with the, the max speed so that I can get the better performance. Or the better score when I'm doing benchmark tools such as Super PI or 3D Mark or something like that. So uh, thanks for watching my video. And if you have any question, feel free to leave in the comment. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, there's actually another thing I want to talk about. Uh, that's the control function. So if you right-click on the control function right here, you can see there's four uh, choices you can choose. Um, I recommend choosing the gank mode. Uh, based on the highest low score, basically gank mode and ungank mode. Uh, the difference are the ungank mode means each core running at uh, different speed based on the core load. The gank mode means all the core will run at the same speed, you know, even if it doesn't need to be. So um, if you play game, do video editing, I think this one is better. It's going to give you uh, better performance. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.